Hello, hello, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. And we're gonna pick up the story where we left off in the last episode. And we have just switched over to Trevor, uh, not Trevor, sorry, Franklin. And we are off to do some of Devlin's business for him. If you remember, we've been stealing cars for him. And he has contacted us about the location of another car. So we're gonna go there and retrieve that car and bring it to him. Hey Molly, I'm outside the studio. All right, go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. So this should be a relatively quick and easy mission. Uh, all we've got to do is get into the movie studio, easily done. Uh, we're going to have to get to the car and steal it. Uh, getting to the car is the slightly trickier bit, but as Molly suggested, we can disguise ourselves, which is what we're going to do. So as you can see, the gentleman in the tuxedo up ahead of us ranting and raving at someone and making a young lady run away crying. Oh, that deserves that and that and down you go. So we're going to take this guy's outfit and we're going to make ourselves look like James Bond. And we are going to steal ourselves the car from the movie set, which also makes us look like James Bond, as it has twin front-mounted machine guns and a few other little gadgets and gizmos. So the car is just around the corner here somewhere. Uh, let's go up that road there. Yeah, that looks like the spot. And that looks like the vehicle in question. Yeah, you, we, I'm not a stunt performer, mate. I'm here to repossess this car. Oh, it comes with a free girl. Hello! You don't want to stand there, mate. Oh well, never mind, eh? Uh, nor do you. And you're shooting at the car. I'm trying to get this thing back in one piece. Oh, we've got another idiot in the road. I'm stealing this car, lady. Don't worry, I will not harm you. You are not my target. Yeah, I can see them on the map. We will lose the security. If you stop grabbing the steering wheel. Whoa, you're going to kill us both, girl. Unless this thing's got a flipping roll cage. And is made of some sort of titanium alloy. You're going to get us very, very dead. See? Right, let's try some of these little tricks. So, down with some stop spikes. And that is one of the pursuing vehicles taken care of. This woman is still grabbing the steering wheel intermittently. Uh, I need to get rid of you somehow. Now, uh, let's see, what have we got? Here, let's drop some more spikes. There goes another one of the patrolling cars or the pursuing cars. Let's see. Uh, there's plenty of buttons here. What's this button do? Ah, perfect. If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. So that was quite a lot of fun being able to drop the spikes and ejecting the annoying lady who was desperately trying to end her life and mine along with it. 
all we've got to do now is get this car to a garage somewhere which isn't too far away without firstly destroying the car or secondly killing ourselves yet again because I have to warn you I do and will die a lot during these videos uh, I will cut a few of them out but some I will also leave in especially if they're quite funny so here we are at the garage and I didn't realize that I was supposed to go in that shutter directly in front of me or just off to my right there now and I am going to drive around the building until I come to a very very tight dead end uh, this doesn't look right as I said it isn't right uh, I'm wondering whether there, there is another shutter just behind me I wonder if that one would let me in didn't seem to want to open so we're gonna go back round to the front of the building breaking more lights and damaging more panels and this looks like the spot to me finally we've made it You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? It's smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Oh shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. Here's what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. So, there we go. One nice, quick and easy mission dealt with. We're gonna leave the story there and leave Franklin looking rather snazzy. And we'll pick this up again in the next episode. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.